Hello and welcome to episode 27 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking yield farming and stable coins. I'll timestamp the video in the description below. We have 10 minutes. Let's get started. Today we're talking Pickle Finance, cash tag Pickle, P-I-C-K-L-E, about $19 per token, about $16 million market cap, circulating supplies about 878000 um, that does increase at about 1.29% per year after the first year. So we have a very modest token supply inflation rate. Our TLDR investment thesis is using yield farming to bring stable coins closer to their $1 peg. So off peg bad, good on peg good is how they term is how they deem it. Historical timeline as I open up the DAP, um, it we arrived on Twitter in about August 2020. The Pico white paper, which I'm showing you right now, is a one-page micro paper, uh, was issued in September 2020. And then token issuance was September 2020 as well at approximately $34 a token. We'll get back to the white paper in just a second. Um, performance has been up and down. Um, we're below token issuance price today. Um, it went down all the way to about $6 in around day one or two all the way up to $85, um, and now has slowly trickled off down to around $18, $19 as of today. Going back to their white paper, their micro paper, um, essentially we're pegging, uh, we're looking to keep stable coins close to their $1 peg through volume, um, and we're starting with these four, and that we're doing that by contributing capital. And here are our four major pools. Um, they're going to give pickles to liquidity providers of these four pools, stablecoin pools, DAI, USDT, USDC, USDT, and SUSD. Um, they also address something down the bottom here, P-Vaults. They, let's just read this really quickly. We realize that we can't just print pickles forever. There needs to be a reason beyond the typical governance BS to hold pickles. And P bolts will come in a few weeks after farming and we'll use flash loans to leverage up and R between stable coins, further bringing stable coins to their pegs while generating returns for pickle holders. Um, so they are bringing P vaults that will have profit generating strategies and arbitrage strategies um, to earn pickle holders more money. And that is the reason you hold pickles. And they also had no VC, no pre-mine, no ICO, so a pretty fair launch. Here is their DAP. I'm going to unlock the website using my MetaMask wallet right now. Uh, pause the screen if you want to look at the, uh, the, the Word doc today. I'm going to switch right over to our Google Sheet and just walk through um, the mechanics here of how we actually use this site. So I'm going to start here with my assets. Um, I'm going to start with these crypto assets. And we're actually going to start with these these four here. Um, and what I would do is I would go to Uniswap, and I would input my Dai and my ETH, and I would get Uniswap V2 Dai ETH LP tokens. I would go then take those U, um, Uniswap LP tokens, take it to jars, so to go go to our pickle jars, and then I would deposit my uni v2 Dai eth liquidity pool token here and earn 26.95 percent what do they do this deposits uni Dai eth lp to farm and dump uni for more Dai eth lp tokens so under my uni swap tokens my reward is more actually um in the pickle jars excuse me is uni v2 um additional uni v2 uh, lp tokens so by holding the Uni V2 LP tokens, I'm earning Uni from the Uniswap site. Once I deposit it in a pickle jar, I'm earning more of those LP tokens as they farm and dump Uni for me. Then, once I've once I've got um, I've wrapped my LP token, I actually get a P Uni Die V2 LP token. So now I've got a pickled token, is what they're calling this, because um, it's got the little P in front of it. I take my pickled token and I go to the farm. And then I deposit my pickle token into an active farm. Um, so in this case, it would be my P uni die token V2. I would deposit that here, and then I would be earning pickles from this farm. So that's why I built this little table right here um, to show you kind of the progression of assets. Um, in our first example, we went with die ETH. We deposited it in Uniswap to get LP tokens. We took those LP tokens and deposited them in jars to get pickled uni LP tokens, which we then deposited in farms to farm pickle.
So in this way, we are earning Uni token from Uniswap. We are earning more Uni V2 LP tokens thanks to the pickle jars. Then we are earning pickles themselves thanks to the pickle farms. Um, and in that way, we are earning assets in three different ways um, through the pickle website. Now coming soon in their governance, you can actually go here to governance, GOV. Um, and you can see all of the different proposals that the community can, can vote on. Pickle is a governance token. Um, so you do have the ability of once you own Pickles to vote. Um, so come here if you need if you want to check out governance. They are they are coming out with a wrap BTC to ETH pool as well as a curve ren wrap BTC pool as well. So they are going to diversify into BTC, which should generate nice fees as well. Um, Moving down onto some more, um, to some kind of metrics and looking at valuations. If I go over to the jars, they do show me in each jar how much total value is locked, which I've noted, and our current estimated APY. So we've got about 90.69 million locked up in our four different jars. Um, we've got our DAI ETH jar, our USDC ETH jar, our USDT ETH jar, and our um, S. CRV jar as well, PJAR0. So based on that, um, let's go down to our revenue estimates and follow me down the line here at row 27. Um, my TVL is about 90.69 million. If I return, if I get annual returns, um, this is for P vaults. If I return about 25% on my arbitrage opportunities and my profit generating strategies. That gets me PGR profit of about 26.67 million. Um, we know that based off of one of the most recent governance um, proposals, we are switching to a 4.5% fee for all pickle holders on P vault profits. So if I take that 22.67 million, multiply it by our 4.5%, um, our free cash flow to pickle holders would be about 1 million. Um, and then if I took that free cash flow, multiplied it by a revenue multiple, um, I could get to a estimated market cap, divide that by the supply and get to an estimated price per pickle. Um, so I've gone ahead and backed into what our revenue multiple, revenue multiple is, which is about 15 X. So that is what we've got for some current estimated numbers. Now, if I come over to row D and I do this for the future, let's say I have 750,000, 750 million, excuse me, locked up in our P vaults, in, excuse me, in our P jars. We make 25% um, return on that. We get about 187 million. Pickle holders will get about, or we'll get 4.5% of that, looking at about 8.43 in free cash flow for the pickle token holders. If I multiply that by a revenue multiple of 15x, we get to about $129 million market cap or a little under $100 per pickle token. So that's some simple revenue multiple um, mathematics that we can do based on the 4.5% fee that pickle holders will earn from PJAR profits. So that should be all in the future. Um, and obviously as pickle holder governance holders, you'll be able to vote on, on kind of what those strategies are and who gets the reward tokens. Um, up in the top right hand corner, I have looked at our valuation measurements and our comparables. Um, valuation measurements for me, I want to see stable coin growth across crypto. I want to see P vault execution, and I want to see also successful profit strategies for vaults. Comparables is all of our yield forming and yield aggregation comparables. So, Wiren, C vault, Sushi Swap, Harvest, Curve, Balancer, Uniswap. There's a few others there that I'm missing. And now to finish up, if we do our little exercise down here at the bottom, um, with a $1,000 investment, I get about 52 pickles um, based on the $19 price today. Let me go back to CoinGecko. Um, I've estimated some market caps down here, all the way up until $2.5 billion. Um, and based on that, we can see what our growth in our token price, our investment value, and our percent profit is. Um, based on those market caps. So we do see some, some very healthy growth if we do get into the, into the, into the multi-billions. Um, and as always, here's our four potential outcomes, in my opinion, for a pickle investment or for a crypto investment. We could have failure at any time. Selling the third or fourth BTC bull run, and as if you can see at our estimates, there are some healthy growth there. And then we could hold a stake and be um, a long-term participant in the network as well. 
And that is our 10-minute look at the Pickle Finance website. Their DAP is live. Go and check it out. Um, let me know your questions, your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe. Happy crypto investing. See you next time.